Liliana Perales was born with facial differences that her family feared would make her the target of bullies. But an innovative surgery at CHOP transformed the five-year-old's life, who is now finishing her first year with a new ear. It looks more and more like your own ear, doesn't it? Liliana had just turned five when Dr. Jordan Swanson and his team at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia constructed an artificial ear. She was born with hemifacial microsomia, which causes part of her face not to develop. She was also born without an ear. She finally got the courage one day to look in the mirror and she was like, oh, it's just an ear. Her confidence has spiked so much. Angelina Perales and her husband opted into the surgery, fearing their daughter would be the target of bullies. Traditionally, the procedure would have taken several rounds to use the cartilage from Liliana's ribs, but thanks to a new method, it only took five to six hours to construct an ear. And then we use her own tissue from inside of her head and some skin grafts to cover it. That's what we want to hear, the good blood flow. One of the interesting things about our ears is that by five years of age, our ears are about 90% of adult size. And so in her case, we slightly overexpanded from the size of her other ear when we planned the construction of her ear, but it won't grow much from here. It's great to see you, Liliana. But we wanted Liliana to feel whole and complete. I saw that she got earrings. Oh, she loves her earrings and she loves Claire's. Those are, those are, that's her favorite place in the world. Yes, and every girl dad knows that Claire's is the place to accessorize, by the way. And as for Dr. Swanson, he says that he does this type of reconstructive surgery at least once a month. So this is actually very common to have something like this. I thought it was actually very rare, but he schooled me and let me know. It was like one in three to 5,000. It's extraordinary what these doctors can do and obviously life-changing. Just check out that smile. I love it. Christy, thank you.